Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Edward James Hubbard. I've been on YouTube for a while, for four and a half years. And uh, what I was doing was sitting there uh, exposing a big YouTuber. He had like 27,000 subscribers. His name was Haggy Rants. And Haggy Rants uh, decided to have his people... Uh, to call my job, uh, call the police, um, stuff like that. Then started harassing my family and stuff like that. A lot of things had happened for the four and a half years. I ended up having a nervous breakdown over a lot of things. And after I had the nervous breakdown, um, I ended up having... They could just as heart failure and stuff like that too. Uh, then the stage four COPD. Uh, on top of that, a lot happened during all this, and finally I decided to go ahead and uh, leave YouTube. And when I decided to go ahead and leave YouTube, um, the threats still kept on going in my email and all that. People threatened to harass me, uh, told me they'd kill me, everything. Now, I went and tried to get a hold of the governor in West Virginia and everything. They directed me to the state police. First, they did direct me to the FBI and everything. I mean, like, you're supposed to, like, report it as the IC3 unit and everything. I did all of that. Then I sit there and got in contact with the state police, everything. I did exactly what, by the rules and everything. And so nobody was doing anything at all to help me at all. I thought it was bullcrap uh, that they were even sitting there doing a false copyright on my channels and everything. I built 396 channels to prove that I was not backing down from anybody at all. When I sat there and did it, this, they started to attack my family. After they started to attack my family, I said enough was enough. I'm done with YouTube. So, a friend of mine told me to do, try uh, TikTok. I decided to go to TikTok. Then I see what TikTok was about. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to TikTok. Then another person had told me to go to Instagram and start talking to, on Instagram to get out the work. So, I start today and starting to get out the word. The gentleman's name is John Haggy that he goes by. His real name is John White that we know of. Possible chance another John on, we're not for sure or anything. We're trying to get his name, full name and everything, but he goes around and he'll act like he's buddy buddies with you. And if he does not get his way, he will threaten you majorly big time after he threatens you and everything if you don't listen to him he will go and attack your family no is no buts so that's when i decided after the family situation and everything that i was done with youtube but like i said 396 or more channels were bought brought up that i built on my own I was getting to 785 people on there. I went to the state government. I went to the FBI. I wrote to them. I wrote to everybody that there was. And stuff. Not one help or anything. Now, the people on YouTube were calling me retard. Stuff like that. Yes, I am disabled. I don't care about me being disabled or anything like that. Hey, I still stood up against these guys no matter what. I did whatever I could do and take a chance to stand up against bullying. I did what I had to do and everything. Like I said, I was there to protect two other people that were YouTubers and everything. They didn't give a damn or anything, the two other YouTubers. In fact, the one YouTuber was named was... Uh, Pickle Boy, if anybody knows Pickle Boy, his name, Michael Green. 
I was trying to keep other Haggy Rents off of him. And the other YouTuber was Jesse Ridgeway. And I was trying to keep him safe too. They all attacked me and everything, which was fine. But what got me fired up is when they were attacking my family for no reason. My family didn't have nothing to do with it, okay? That's one thing. They did not have anything to do with it. When somebody goes and attacks somebody's family for no damn reason, there should be something to be done about this. The government officials or the police need to do their damn job. I reported it to the police officers and everything. And they wanted me to send them an email of uh, what they done to my fiance of the picture. I did not think that was right or anything. What I thought was the officers should come to my place and see the picture or something. Well, that wasn't the case or anything. That made me upset. Very upset. They, I was told by a police officer that he did not want to help or anything because of the fact that it was drama. He wasn't getting involved in the drama. It sounds like nothing but drama. But what we, the people, do not understand, this is what the kids, our regular kids on the internet, go through a lot is cyberbullying on the internet and they get picked on for no reason if it's bad for an adult or something or if it's bad for a kid it really is bad for an adult they have no right to sit there and call somebody's job and harass them at somebody's job they have no right to call a hospital and saying that the person needs to be put in a nut house or anything that is ridiculous and so they did not care what they did to me or anything like that I found out the guy was sitting there stealing subscribers and stuff like that what he was doing was somebody paying for his uh, subs he was stealing from YouTube basically money from YouTube he was stealing money from fans and stuff like that the other stuff that I was exposing was other people doing the things the same thing a gentleman had sit there and got a camera off a pickle boy, A.K. Michael Green, as a gift. No, it wasn't a gift. He was supposed to pay him back $500. He never paid him back at all. He refused to pay him back and everything. But the deal was to pay him back. But he didn't or anything. That was freaking ridiculous. This is outrageous how people get treated on YouTube if they want to create and create they should be able to create they should not have to deal with people hating on them or anything or people sitting there attacking them for no reason people need to understand that social media if they want to entertain they could entertain everybody has rights you cannot tell a person that is disabled that they don't have no rights and they need to get the F off the internet. And that what I was told, oh, that I have no rights and that I needed to get off the internet. They told my fiance that she needed to get me off the internet. Or consequences will happen to her. That highly pissed me off more. I am standing up against these people and speaking my mind. This is ridiculous and somebody needs to open their mouth and not back down. Now, I found out in Instagram that they cannot do anything to your account or anything unless they're one damn good hacker. I am not backing down from anybody. I have not got a person that helped me or anything at all. I haven't got a celebrity, nobody, to help me. I would tell them a story that's what's going on. Nobody helped me. But when it comes to a real autistic boy or somebody else, they want to jump and end up helping. What does it matter what the disability is? Why can't you help when the person that is regular disability, mine is bipolar and another disability that I do not want to completely say. 
or anything because I will get made fun of or whatever like I normally do. I've been bullied all my life. I've been sitting there standing up for my life all the time. I'd have been abused. Everything. And stuff. I'm tired of getting told that I don't have rights to be able to speak or anything like that. I have every right to speak. I have every right to take a stand and do whatever I want to do. If you want to sit there and try to make me shut up, then try to make me shut up. Because people have threatened me, my life, and everything. And, and by God, I got a lot of friends that will take a true stand with me. 100%. I know a lot of people are all talk and everything. And saying they'll come to my house. But there was one person. And what I did, because I was tired of everybody sitting there saying crap and everything. What I did was blast out my own address and everything. So you got a boss, they come. And so the dude tried to show up, but I was not home one bit at all. That pissed me off. When I wasn't home or anything, you gonna come to my house and everything. And then take off. Or whatever. When I show up, really? Then you disappear because of a little incident that happened to your little fairest leader. The little fairest leader got knocked down to 200 subs now. He's a nobody. He gets 400 views whenever he does a little thing now. And that's fine with me because I really don't give a damn either. I don't talk about this dude no more or anything. I don't want nothing to do with the dude. He's nothing but a... How can I say it? He's nothing but a bitch. And that's the honest truth in my book. Because most of the people that want to come up here and act like a keyboard warrior and think they're all big and bad and they ain't shit. Trust me. They ain't shit. They are nobody on here. At all. You have a freaking right to freaking stand up to anybody that you want. You kids do not have to back down one bit at all. You should be able to speak your mind the way you need to speak your mind. Do not be afraid of the social media or anything else. And if somebody wants to hurt you, go to a teacher, go to a principal, do what you have to do the right freaking way. I'm just saying. I don't care how many people watch me, listen to my uh, rant, whatever. They don't have to do shit or anything. I'm tired of the threats in my emails. I'm tired of a lot of crap. I'm taking a stand and open my mouth. I have COPD stage 4. I also have a heart congestive failure. I'm also a diabetic. I'm also an asthmatic. Yes, I got a lot of health problems and stuff. I try to do right and I want to sit there and grow and be able to make a little bit of more money than I'm making now. And some people like to make more money than what they are making now. And... Some of the stuff that I did do on YouTube was payback because what the people had done, like threatening to kill me and everything and stuff like that. I feel wrong doing that. I should have never scooped to their level one bit. But when they wouldn't quit and I couldn't get any help, that's what was bullshit. And I still can't get help and the shit still keeps on going on. I can't even find a lawyer that will sit there and take an internet case. Or anything. At all. And it's fucking bullshit. But if I was a rich bastard. Or a rich kid. Or a rich person. There will be somebody in a freaking heartbeat. That will get help. Because they got money. I can't get help. Why is that? Is it because I'm disabled? Or is it because I open my mouth. And I don't take no shit. Why can't I get the help? 
or am I going to get called retard all my life and get bullied all my life? Why can't I get help? What the hell? Why can I get anybody's real help? You know, for the longest time, I used to want to end my life. I tried it three times. Three freaking times. One, I was almost a success. But my friend and another gentleman had came to save my life. The gentleman, I will not say the one gentleman's name because he's my best friend. The other gentleman was Irvin Fleming. He had saved my life. He literally did CPR. There was a couple other times that I was going to do it, then I stopped myself. Until I met my fiance and her family, my life has totally changed. Big time. My thoughts have changed big time. My nieces, I love to death. My queen, I love to death. My mouth, I love to death. The boys, my nephews, they're awesome. My sister-in-law is awesome. My sister-in-law's boyfriend, cool as hell. My soon-to-be mother-in-law, cool as hell. I guess that's why I keep on striving. It's the people in my life that I meet all the time and change everything. I used to hate the world. I hated everybody. I had grudges against everybody. I didn't give a damn. How I start believing in God and everything. And I really stopped, start believing in God big time. And just keep on thinking everything. And uh, a lot has opened my eyes big time. Majorly. Big time. It's just opened my eyes. Majorly. Sorry there's a scar on my nose and everything. Um, it was a sleeping mask that I got to wear. Um, but uh, a lot of things have changed my mind on a lot. Big time. I... Uh, watch a lot of things now lately a lot of Christian movies and everything some of them make me cry some of them don't and some things are good and some aren't and uh, it just makes me happy I'm grateful I'm alive now and I'm grateful on a lot of things. Don't take life granted or anything. But uh, open your eyes on a lot of things. When you take things for granted, that's when things get bad. Always believe in God. And never give up on them. But, uh, John Haggy, I'm not leaving here. You could attack me, say whatever you want in the comments. Or John White, or whatever you want to go by. just not leave at all 
I'm not backing out. I'm not backing away. Or anything. I have my rights. I'm not a retard. I'm a lot smarter. Y'all want me to sit there and do shit y'all's way? Nah. I me. Mean, nobody's my boss on the internet. Or nobody's my boss at my... Where I go. I do what I gotta do. Do you understand? Never give up what you believe. And don't let people get you down or anything. Always stay strong no matter what. Now hopefully one day I can get the right help that I can get. And hopefully they will hear me one day. Just never wish it would be too late. <laughs> but I hope they do listen. Thank you everybody and have a great night.